So you guys know that there are a ton of different video editing softwares that exist in 2024. And I've checked out my fair share, checking out some for free, paid ones, all of the above. But today I'm here to show you the best all around software for 2024. The software is actually Wondershare Filmora. And you guys have definitely heard about it before if you've been involved in the editing community. It's a pretty unique software and I'm actually gonna be checking it out today. So I'm super excited to be doing that. So if you guys do enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm actually quickly gonna show you guys the Filmora website here because it just kind of goes over the main features features of the software itself. So right here, you know, it just kind of shows Filmora 13 uh, powered by AI, which is super important. There are a bunch of different cool features, um, AI features, templates and resources, multi-platform. Um, and it kind of shows you all the different AI features here. So work smarter, not harder, which is my favorite part of the software by far. Um, they have AI co-pilot editing right here. You can see that you just kind of type into the bot, a little prompt light in the video it will do so um ai text-based editing is also a thing thumbnail creator is also a thing and the ai music generator is also really cool um so i'm going to be showing you that and basically um it shows all of the different templates all that stuff as well as you know the different features for templates titles effects stickers stock and audio so i don't want to ruin too much i kind of want to just show you guys in the software itself when i actually go to show you um, but yeah what i'm gonna do i'm gonna boot up filmora and just like that we're gonna go check it out so let's do that okay guys so i actually got filmora booted up right here and we can see that even just inside of here there are a bunch of different new features so we got screen recorder ai text to video text-based editing silence detection avatar presentation copywriting insane cutter instant cutter auto beat sync and auto reframe so i'm just gonna go to new project and we're actually just gonna boot up a new project here so obviously the first step of the editing process is going to be to import the files um so i'm just gonna quickly show you real quick so right here it's just kind of showing us how to do it. so just go user guide it'll import it you know drag to edit kind of shows us kind of walks us through um all these different things so it just kind of shows you um the different effects that we can be using inside of Filmora, right? Um, so then we go to export, export the video, um, and then that is basically how you do that. So um, that was just a walkthrough kind of thing, but I kind of want to show you guys how to actually edit real videos that you do yourself. So for example, we have our file explorer right here, um, and I'm going to show you me importing my actual footage into there that I would actually be using for a YouTube video, right? Okay, so for example, I'm gonna drag like a short form or even let's just do like this random piece of recording that I have like right here. So I'm gonna import that. You can drag this in the timeline. And the cool thing that I love about Filmora is that it talks about, you know, matching the media resolution frame rate. So we'll just do that. And just like that, it has matched our frame rate right here. So we can see that we have like this footage. And if we drag, we can just kind of scale along the project, zoom out kind of thing. Um, and we can also bring this along. So we can see um, based on this right here that um, this video is super long, right? It's 13 minutes long. So obviously we're gonna have a lot of dead space. So we're actually able to cut um, the footage. So for example, if we're going through, um, obviously the first step of YouTube video would be to like go through, you know, cut it, come here, come like right here, cut it, come like right here, kind of just cut out all the dead space in general. Cut out this, cut out that. And I love how it automatically snaps. So we can see just kind of cuts it out. Um, so we got to make sure we're pressing control S. So I'm just going to call this untitled, whatever. Um, but the main focus for me is to show you guys the AI features as well as, you know, the different features and effects that the, um, software includes. So for example, I'm going to quickly show you guys through the effects. So we have RGB stroke, glow, blur, TV wall, strong glitch. So for example, RGB stroke will kind of give an outline of the video itself, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like an edge detect glow will brighten it. Blur will blur it obviously. TV wall will multiply the effects, strong glitch will kind of just um, progressively, there'll be like little glitches in the video, which is kind of cool for edits. Canvas is also really cool. I've seen that a lot. Chromatic aberration is also really cool, but I kind of want to show you on the other stuff. So we have all these different effects, shake, glitch, blur, flicker, zoom, super mom. So this would be like, I don't even know, for Mother's Day, something like that. Starburst, depth effect, Y2K, which is also really cool if you're doing like brand videos. Dude, just look at how many different effects there are in here, which is crazy in itself. Um, we have the body effects like stroke, neon line, selfie. This would be for like music videos kind of thing. Um, new blue effects. We have all these different things right here. Filters, elements, titler pro, force effects, all that stuff. There are all of these different trending effects that kind of relate to what other people are using. There are new effects here. 
it's just really cool to see all of these people kind of doing that there are also a bunch of different built-in voice changer options which is super super cool um dude this software is just jam-packed with a bunch of different things and that was just the effects tab now coming to the audio tab there are so many different things there are songs built into the software itself that you can use sound effects music ai music so for example this is the ai tool you generate ai music um pick the theme of the song go like this um, the music duration let's do like five minutes the max like that generate music count let's just do three um and we want it suspenseful we'll do start and it will actually generate three different songs to use that kind of match the theme that we entered so it's going to do its thing and it will end up providing with these things so there are different ones like this one so that's an option you got this one too kind of cool that it's able to do that so i'm just going to exit out um there are also if it generates it you can see it in there after um memes there's a bunch of this like different ones right here like different uh little memes what you know kind of you could use it for tiktok which is kind of cool click ding um they have all these memes right here this is everything in here hello yeah nice funny that they have all this it's just kind of fun um that's basically that now there are also a ton of different stock media in here um whether it's a speed up effect digital background um logo reveal there's also a bunch of different motion graphics kind of stuff um that i will probably end up using in my own videos in the next little bit ton of different transitions that we're able to do how these work you just drag them in and transition between two clips um so for me it would kind of go like this well world transition offset um the effects i already went through filters is like color correction where you can kind of just change the complexion for example we can see it made a little bit of a difference on the video now if we did this like primordial it also kind of affects it a little bit you know, the stickers um there's a ton of different social media ones like the like subscribe dude there are just so many different things in the software that are like gems they have like all these like trending ones like 2000 years later uh subscribe now like an end screen there are so many different call to actions dude it's like ridiculous how many are here um yeah it's nuts like there are just so many different things that you can use and you know like they have different game modes like squid challenge game highlight game opener baseball game preview like top three dude there are just so many different things in this offer i actually can't get over it there is a ridiculous amount of things that you can do here now, the one thing I didn't really go over was titles. There are a bunch of different kind of preset subtitle things that you can use, like Radiate, um, Big Title Pack. There are just so many different things you can use this to edit a video. So for example, you know, you have your cutout footage, you want to subtitle it, you can just drag this to the subtitle layer, um, change this to whatever you want to say. So like subscribe even, you can do this, um, move this down to like here, center it, make it a bit smaller. Um, and in here, we're able to kind of add like layer styles, which is really cool. Um, and then even if we want to come here to stickers after, go to like subscribe, drag that up there. Dude, look at this. They're just like different things. And by doing this, we're able to just kind of scale it down, drag the position down as well, which is really cool. Um, and we could just have like our own YouTube video. And dude, it's just nuts that it can do this for free, which is the craziest part to me by far. Now, there are so many different things I can cover when it comes to Filmora. So if you guys want to see me cover an in-depth editing tutorial, make sure to go uh, leave me a comment down below. And let me know. I'll be sure to make one if you guys actually want that. I just kind of wanted to show the showcase the software what it can provide you with um and all of its different features because i think that it's super cool and it's super feature packed which is amazing uh but yeah if you guys enjoy you want to go check out film more for yourself go check out the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment but yeah guys that's actually going to do it for the video i hope you guys enjoy massive shout out to the people over at film for making this video possible and i will see you guys later peace out